Welcome back to Capitol Square. Jack Torrey, the Columbus Dispatch joins us now from Washington. Jack, I guess the first question is there general surprise on the Hill by how strongly Speaker John Boehner from Ohio has supported President Obama and this Syria military strike? Not at all. I think uh, John Boehner is probably in the uh, tradition of the uh, internationalist wing of the Republican Party. I don't think anybody was terribly surprised at that. He's always been a, a very strong internationalist. What you've seen, however, is how the re a sizable uh, section of the Republican Party has drifted off into the old isolationism that we uh, used to hear uh, long before we were born by Senator Robert Taft of Ohio, who uh, opposed NATO uh, in 1949 and opposed uh, Len Lease to Britain in 1941. Jack, let me ask you sort of on the other side of that about the Congressional Black Caucus, many of its members staunch Obama supporters, and yet they have come out and said they were opposed to military action. What about surprise there? Again, that's not a big surprise because in the Democratic Party, particularly in the aftermath of the Vietnam War, you have a sizable group of lawmakers who are very much, uh, if not anti-war, deeply, deeply skeptical of international shooting. And uh, the Black Caucus, by tradition, has not been very much in favor of international um, uh, fights. So I don't think that was a big surprise. I, I think what is the uh, what's what's happened though is because the president has not been terribly forceful on this. Mm -hmm. It's tough to get people to join him and take a position. So Jack, I, I mean, how much pressure ultimately, if we're back to where we were uh, a week ago, 30 days from now, if this Russian Syria deal, if we can't get verification on that, how much pressure will John Boehner put on members like uh, Steve Stivers and Pat Tiberi on that Republican side to fall in line and, and do something? Well, I'm not sure that we'll ever see this go back to Congress. The president has the authority through precedent um, and under the Constitution as commander in chief to launch an, an attack on his own. He does not need congressional authority. Um, what he does need is congressional authority if this thing goes beyond 60 to 90 days. Then he comes under the 1973 War Powers Resolution. But I don't think you're ever going to see a vote. Now, I could be wrong, and I've been wrong many times in the past. How does uh, the president come out in all of this? How's he viewed um, with not having the support of key Democrats and, you know, even moveon.org not really supporting this? How does he come out in this? Well, he certainly, I mean, unless there's a mystery plan that we're all unaware of, he has not looked like a skillful, forceful commander in chief. I think he's the first uh, American president to take a beating at the hands of a Russian uh, leader since Khrushchev beat up Kennedy at uh, Vienna in the summit in 1961. Um, he has got to decide what is in our national interest and whether he is willing to act on them. And the United States has no shortage of tools, either militarily or diplomatically but he's got to decide to use them. He can't do interviews where he's talking about uh, going to war in such an ambivalent way and, and talking about the war weariness of America. Um, he's commander in chief. This is what he signed up for. All right, very good. As always, our good friend Jack Torrey in Washington, D.C., thanks so much for joining us on Capitol Square. And you can join in on the conversation. Follow us on Twitter or like us on Facebook. And you can get updates throughout the week at our website, 10tv.com slash Capitol Square. We wish you a great week. You, indeed. And we certainly do a lot of tweeting. Yes. The latest Ohio it, political news mm -hmm. and national news. Mm -hmm. And Syria is going to continue to be a Absolutely. major topic for weeks, if not months, to come. And we'll be talking about it there on Facebook and, of course, covering the stories as they bubble up indeed. throughout the week. All right. Thanks for joining us, everybody. If it's Ohio politics, it is Capitol, capitol Square. Square. Take care.